Hey everyone, in this video we're going to wrap up Spongebob. Uh, just the one thing we want to make sure we do before we actually get ready to submit this is make sure that we have all of our sides painted so it's kind of orbiting around right now looking to make sure that all of our surfaces are taken care of in the front and the back. And then also when we go to our top view just making sure that we have all of our dimensions present that we needed to have when we're making our, our Spongebob. Um, after we're checking those kind of things out we are ready to submit this Spongebob. How we're going to do that today is we're going to start by going to our clapperboard, the movie clapperboard. We're going to go to the scenes and click on the middle, or sorry, the lower right hand ISO view. And then after that, we're going to hit the zoom extents tool. Once we hit the zoom extents tool, uh, if you notice that your Spongebob all of a sudden gets, gets ridiculously small, it means you have something else made over here in this area that needs to be deleted. So when you hit your zoom extents, it makes that the main piece, all right? So it just means that you have something extra in your model that needs to be deleted in that area. Now, um, that we have them in the right, I guess, view, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the hamburger menu, which is next to the name. We're gonna select it and go down to where it says print. Now, uh, the first thing we wanna set up is make sure our, our paper's in letter, we wanna be in landscape, and what we're gonna do right away here is we're gonna have one, or sorry, print to scale, we're gonna have actually in just current view, all right? Now, current view um, doesn't give us uh, the right size, it's not, the, it's not an actual true scale, um, but it'll fit everything on our paper that way, or on our export. Now, um, later on when we do our car, we'll actually have print to scale selected, because it'll print out the true size. The next thing we wanna do is hit print to PDF on your machine. Um, this might actually be easier to do on your Chromebook, because then you actually know where it goes. Uh, when I hit print to PDF on my computer, it sends it to my documents, I believe, um, and it's in the downloads, okay? So it puts it into your machine. You can see it as a toolbar on the bottom if you're using Chrome, uh, and then that <clears throat> is the submission for the 2.5 SpongeBob assignment. Our SpongeBob complete exported as a PDF, or sorry, printed as a PDF, and that PDF becomes our submission for the assignment. Hope you guys learned a few things during the assignment, and we're getting ready to transition into safety in our CO2 car. Thanks for watching.